Very good morning and festive greetings to all joining us for this show on behalf of Marshall's World of Sport. And unfortunately, with the weather, the last, well, six, eight weeks, just keep on counting. The rains just continue to fall. Lucky yesterday and today, the sun is shining. Looking outdoors, a beautiful, magnificent day for racing. The meeting has been moved from Scottsville to Gravel. So we now are racing at Gravel. Yesterday at around about 12.30, 1 o'clock, the penetrometer was sitting at around 31, whereas at Scottsville, it was close to 40 and in the 40s. So there was no chance they were going to race at Scottsville. Thus, they've moved the meeting and the weather gods, they've blessed us with two beautiful days because I believe the rain is back on the way for the next couple of days. So we're going to have a few days of rain and I believe the weekend, the sun is going to be back out. So let's see how things map out. We've lost out on a number of meetings in KwaZulu-Natal and for all those who are looking to get some money, Christmas money and New Year's money, let's hope today can be the day that we get it right. At this point in time, early time of recording, take note of any further scratchings because of the change of venue and distances. There's been a number of scratchings. Thus, when it comes to the final declarations, you take those down. Now, when it comes to today's racing, I'm going to focus in on two races, races seven and eight, and we'll give you the selections there. Then we'll touch on Friday night's meeting on Friday morning for KwaZulu-Natal. We are racing on the poly, I think, on Friday night at this stage. We're racing on the poly on Friday night. And then on Sunday, New Year's Day, I think we've got some real good value. I've been waiting for a horse for a while now. And let's just hope everything works out according to the script. At this point in time, we've had so much rain. I mean, we've had around about 300 mils of rain in December. November, we had, I think, about 200 mils. And every month, the last three months or so, we just had rain upon rain. So, the sun's out. It's shining. At this point in time, the penetrometer is 28 at Gravel. The track condition is soft. We've still got a few hours for the track to dry out. So I think those horses who enjoy the soft conditions are going to really love it. And those who love the cut in the ground. So around about four hours until the first race as we record. And I think the track should dry up quite a bit. Probably come first race, the penetrometer be closer to 26, I feel. So it'll still be soft. It'll be good, good given the ground. But with about three, four hours of sunshine this morning and a bit of a breeze, I think we could be on the right path. Right, enough of that. Let's get straight to the selections. Now, race number seven. If ever a horse is going to get it right again, it's going to be today. Number one, Hooves of Troy. Now, you can't even count those days he hasn't won for. 1,314. Once upon a time, and PE is a 104, unfortunately, the handicapper has been unkind to him. And I'm saying that because if you look at the runs he's done, he's done some good runs, but they penalized him from a 75 to a 79 for running second in his last two runs. Never matter that he ran second and he ran good races, he did not win. So the handicapper has given him effectively four points, so an extra two kilograms, which could just once again be his hindrance. In his favor, he's drawn one. He's a horse who likes to hang towards the inside, and I think the conditions could suit him dead right today. So number one, who's of Troy? If ever he's going to win, I can't give you confidence because we've just about given up on him. But it is Christmas time. We've had Christmas. We're going into the new year. And who knows? He could end off the year with a bang. Number one, Hooves of Troy in race seven. Number one, he's a horse worth having a small little bet on and maybe taking a small little double into the runners that we're going to tip you into the last race. In race number eight, there's... Two horses, in fact, there's three horses I like, two of them in double figures, and the third will be a cover bet. So if you're looking to take Hooves of Troy to win onto the other runners each way, a small little play, but I'd suggest at double figures in race number eight. Number four, call me Mr. Greenlight, and number five, all the time. 
Number four, call me Mr. Green Light. Interesting. Last time out, they took off the alamites and the cheek pieces. They then put the cheek pieces back on on the morning. They dropped him to 1,200 meters on the poly track. So there was quite a few little ifs, buts, and ands. If you look at the run, very disappointing. Penultimate effort, a good fourth behind Ricardo. And we followed him and we said next time out he runs in a 1400, we'll be confident. Cheek pieces go on and I think they're putting the shoes on front. So I think he's going to race with a set of shoes in front. The cheek pieces, Sean Veal and the 1400 meter trip right up his alley. Call me Mr. Greenlight was an 81 at the heart of his career. A real underachiever. He's dropped down to a competitive rating. Today could be the day. Another one of those horses who has not won for an eternity. 494 days, but he's still lightly raced. He's a four-year-old having his 20th run. So not like Hooves of Troy, who's been around the block a million times. Number four, call me Mr. Green Light. And then the horse that we really fancied last time out for the places. We got five to one a place. He was around about 25 to one. And he should have definitely run into the money number five all the time. If you remember, he dropped down to a 67 in the ratings. He took the weight off the back. And when he went for his run, he went for the wrong run. He went for the outside. He got squeezed. He went towards the center. He got squeezed. And by the time he saw daylight, the race was over. That was on the poly track. His wins have come on the turf. So both numbers four, call me Mr. Greenlight and five all the time. They're both horses who need some confidence, but I think number five all the time, Rachel Benica from a five draw. I think he races in a citation bit just to get him to settle in because he's a horse who can be strong. But if you go back to some of his earlier form, this is the type of horse who could cause a stir. They're both at double figures. Numbers four, call me Mr. Greenlight and number five all the time. If you go back a few runs, a fair fourth behind Pewter Scar, third to Lake Como. And I think all the time, he's definitely worth having another crack. Earlier on, he took on a little bit stronger in the rating 82s and the higher merit ratings. So I think we give all the time one more chance. If Rachel Benica can get him into a good groove and he kicks in, I think he's going to run a cracker. And then number six, just for the penny, 1,253 days. A horse who was rated earlier on had issues, but one for the exactors, trifectors, and the quartets. So numbers four, call me Mr. Greenlight each way, and five all the time each way, and then throw number six, just for the penny. That's a wrap from myself, Sheldon Peters. On behalf of your winning team, Marshalls World of Sport, have a wonderful day's racing, and we'll catch you Friday morning for the Friday night meeting at Grable.